Our DV5 framework has a brand new update and this update is full of amazing features. So when you refresh your website running Sidecrafter Pro, you want to take a look here at the updates. You're going to notice that you're going to have this one over here at the top. So when you click on it, it's going to take you to this page where you can upgrade from 7.4.2 to 7.5.0. So all you have to do here is to select it and then say update themes. So this is going to update Sidecrafter to the latest version, which has all the features. So as you can see here, everything has gone successful. And the first place you need to check out for your first feature is right here. So you go to Sidecrafter and then you go to style guide. You're going to notice that we have updated the colors and we've, ad we've added the tertiary colors. So this was a feature which was requested for quite a while now, but I'm very excited to say that this here has been added and it's also been updated to the autocomplete system. So with these colors now, I want you to take a note of these colors here. So this is our primary color, primary 500, accent and tertiary, okay? So take a note of these colors because what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and refresh our website now and our colors should update automatically and sure enough you can see here our colors have updated so the feature that i want to uh, talk about is really really powerful so over here when it comes to setting your colors for your website you don't need to go into that text document for your style.css all your colors can be done over here now check this out if I were to change my colors, let's say I want to change my primary color. Now note that over here, you want to make sure that this is set at 50 and this is set at 50. Do not uh, move these two because they're all controlled by, by our framework. So what we can do now is to change these colors. So I want to change my primary color here to this color. Perhaps I may want, may want to make it a bit dark. So I'm going to go to 30. So I'm going to say 360 and 30. So you may have not noticed that, but if I drag this, you're going to notice that on the top right, it says colors saved successfully. Okay, so let's go back to 30. So our colors now have been saved. If I now come over here to our site and I refresh, this is our primary color. Notice what happens. It has updated. Automatically, I did not need to go to um, any other colors to uh, do all those settings. It just updates. Now let's do the next color. And this is our accent. If I come over here, I go to my accent colors and this time I'm going to go with maybe something like that. Okay. And now my colors have been updated. I'm going to come back over here and refresh and we can see here that it has been updated. It is that simple. Now the final one is our tertiary color. I'm going to come over here <coughs> and let's go with something like that. Maybe go down to about 12. Okay, again, I'm gonna come back over here, refresh, and when I scroll down, sure enough, it has been updated. So our color system now is so easy to use. All you have to do is to drag the sliders until you have your desired color, and pretty much you are good to go. Now you may be saying, well, how have you entered all these colors? Well, it is very easy. I'm gonna start off with a brand new section. So I'm gonna come over here, and add a text module on the left here and then on the right we're going to add an image so i'm just going to recreate this so you can see how it was made and then i'm just going to add my image and i'm going to go with this one here just to make it different great now over here on the text this needs to be a title so i'm just going to go in and get rid of some of this text here so with that selected our framework works by coming over here to advanced attributes and then we need to add our attributes so here our admin label is going to be css class so i'm going to type it like that and then over here on the attribute name this is a class so i'm going to say class and then because i want this to be a heading i'm going to just type in heading on my search and i want this to be 706 xl Okay, you can see my, my uh, text there has updated. Now, when it comes to the color now, I can actually go TER for our tertiary, and this will bring our, our colors. But if I want to be specific, I can say text TER, 
and then let's go with 500. You can see now our color right here is our tertiary color. It's, it goes with that. But if you want to make it, uh, let's say primary, you can just say PRI and you can see it is primary 500. Okay, so that's how you add your colors. Now on the back, uh, on the background color here, I can go to section settings. Again, I need to create my attributes by coming over here, CSS class. And then over here, I'm going to give the attribute name, which is class. And then I can add a few items here. So I'm going to say section and I want to add padding here. So it's going to be medium and I can also add a background. So I'm going to say BG and this is where I can say primary 100, which is that I can also say tertiary 100. So for tertiary, it's just T E R. Oops. This is medium, okay? And then our background is BG, TER for tertiary. And I am going to say 200. Now you can see the color has been applied there. So it is very, very easy to use. You can use your tertiary colors. You can use uh, pretty much all your colors here and it just works great, okay? So with that now, we also have another really exciting update. And this is to do with the buttons. So when it comes to the buttons, what you need to do is to just add a new button. So I'm going to come over here, click on this little icon, and then I'm going to add my button. So instead of going in here and styling the button by coming over here to design uh, button and then use, act, uh, use custom styles for button, all I need to do is to go to advanced attributes and I'm going to add my attribute, which is class and then class. I'm just going to expand this for my attribute here. I'm just going to say button uh, primary. Now, did you see that the button there has just changed in size? It's taken on the primary color. Now I can also say button and I can define my sizes here by saying extra small. Now, do you see how really small that became? I can go small, oops, small. And then I can also go medium. I can go large. Now, do you see how easy it is just by applying my classes? I was able to apply those classes. Now, if I want to further customize this, this is button primary. I can also change this to button accent like that. And now you can see it has taken on my accent color and it remembers my accent color. I can even say tertiary, which is T-E-R. And you can see it's taken on my tertiary color. And we know it's our tertiary color because we have it here on the background of this section. So it is very, very easy to use. Now, if you want to go further and customize the uh, the text, you can you can go ahead and do that as well. So what I want to do now is just to save this so we can do a quick preview so you can see how easy it is to use. So I'm going to say preview and here we go. So there's our button here. If I hover over it, you can see the color changes and it also lifts which makes it, you know, uh, easy to see that this is, you know, interactive. I can also make an outline button as well if I wanted to. So all I need to do is to go back in here and uh, let's say I duplicate this. I can go and inspect it. And here I can say button dash outline. But remember, we need to you we need to remove this button tertiary. OK, so now we have button outline and it's our accent. Again, we can change our colors here to uh, pretty much whatever, you know, colors uh, that we want. So we can have an outline and we can also change, you know, the button text color. So I can say text gray and I can say gray 500. So you can see in there it has changed to gray 500. And I can also change the button itself if I need to. So this just makes our buttons look much, much cleaner. It's very, very uh, you know classy as you're designing your websites. So these are the updates that really work great in our new uh, in our new update. Now there was also something which uh, really annoyed a lot of people, including myself, which was the skip to main content text, which appeared. Uh, somewhere on the top here of the website. Now that is gone too, so uh, that has been uh, that has been dealt with. So it is pretty cool, right? The next update is the course. So Sidecrafter now has a course. 
And you can see here it says Sidecrafter Pro. There's nine lessons so far. So if you go into that, you can see we have how to install Sidecrafter, getting started, using the inspector, how to use color, how to rebrand uh, using Sidecrafter Pro. You know, so there's so many topics so far that I've covered. But again, this course is going to be updated uh, as, to, as time goes on to have all uh, all the uh, features covered in Sidecrafter Pro. So this feature is uh, available. And if you go to your website that is using Sidecrafter Pro, you're going to see a notification of an update. You can go ahead and uh, update that and that should work really cool. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. The link to purchase Sidecrafter Pro is in the video description below if you haven't done so. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.